guys, so today I'm going to do another one of my products I've used up videos. I use up products like a change of underwear. I mean, seriously, it is just so bad and I use so many products up so easily and so quickly. It is out of this world right now. As always, a bag is filled with loads of makeup and skincare and random bits and bobs that I've used up obviously, so it's kind of like my beauty trash um, that I'm going to share with you. Another woman's trash is another woman's treasure, right? Um, and I'm just going to give you some mini reviews and tell you if I'm going to repurchase the products or not. Firstly is my L'Oreal Paris Pure Micellar Cleansing Water, which removes makeup and it was really, really good. It is kind of like a dupe to the Bioderma cleansing water and I think this is really really good. It is almost as good as the other one so um, it's also very affordable and I really loved using this one. Um, you get how much is in this big boy? 200 milliliters in it so it's a pretty big size actually and it is quite affordable as well. Then I've used up this Q-Tex strengthening nail polish remover. I like this one. It is also really 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 inexpensive so it is good when you consider the price and so on and it removes my nail polish really really quickly. Um, it is not acetone free, no there's definitely acetone in it is the first thing that stands on the ingredients list. So there's acetone in it which is obviously not like great for your nails but um, it says that it's strengthening and that it's with protein and pro vitamin B5. Um, and also a nail whitening formula for brittle nails. It's a quite good nail polish remover, so I like it and I've already bought a new one. Some cutting pads, I've shown you these before. There were 120 in this one and they were just some small, normal, standard size cutting pads. Like them, use them to remove my makeup and nail polish and stuff like that. And they were fine and they're from Body Care. Um, and then I used up the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Toner. I like this one. It says that it's suitable for blemished skin and my skin isn't really blemished. But um, I really like the Tea Tree range from the Body Shop. And I actually have also done a review on this one on my blog. Which I will leave down below so you can go check that one out. Oh my cat was almost falling off there. Um, but yeah, I, I like this one. The only really negative thing about this one is actually that it's got alcohol in it, which I'm not really a huge fan of. It really dries out your skin and it's just really not a good thing for you to use alcohol toners or anything like that. So I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this one again. I mean, I did like it when I used it. It didn't really irritate my skin or anything like that. But um, at the moment, I'm using a... Um, a alcohol free toner from Clarence which I really love so I'm not sure if I'm gonna repurchase this one but I did like it. Next is my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum and um, this is so good for all skin types and it is just amazing. It is the best serum I've ever tried and this is the um, 75 milliliters bottle so this is the biggest one that you can actually get it is so freaking expensive and I feel so bad whenever I use up one of these because they are so expensive but they're definitely worth all of the money all of the hype I could not live without this one so obviously I've already got a new one of this one and I would definitely recommend all of you guys to go try it it is for all skin types skin tones and um, skin ages it doesn't really matter it is just so anti-aging and just so firming and reawakening and lovely and I just love it. Then I've used up this Hydrolife um, Pro Youth Comfort Cream from Dior. It may not look that big but it took me around a year to get through this one. And I think it's because of the fact that I just really didn't like it. Um, and I feel so bad about saying that about this product because I really want to like it because it's from Dior and I like the packaging and everything but God, it was just a pain to get through. It's only got 50 milliliters in it so it shouldn't take a year to get through but it's just been a pain for me really because every time I've used it I've just felt that my skin went so not greasy but just weird and just not like itself at all and it also broke me out a bit as well so actually I just really didn't like it but I said to myself I'm not gonna throw it out because it was way too expensive to just throw out so um 
it is supposed to be for dry skin and my skin isn't really dry so maybe that's why it just really didn't work for my skin but I just didn't like it and actually I'm not even going to recommend it to you guys because I really didn't like it. I mean the smell is really really lovely but that's actually the only positive thing that I can say about this one. Next is also from the Buddy Shop, it is the Olive Shower Gel, which is a soap-free cleanser with community fair trade cold pressed olive oil from Italy. And I enjoyed this so much and I'm definitely going to recommend this one and also repurchase it sometime soon. The smell is so lovely, I mean I don't even like the taste of olives but the smell of this one, oh my god. I could literally just do like this, oh, because it is so good. Um, I really love the scent of this one, it is amazing. You get 250ml in it and it took me some months to get through it, um, so I really like it. A little goes a long, long way and I just really loved it. The makeup, um, I've used up the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. The tip looks like that um, and it was an okay... Um, eyeliner, it was kind of like a standard eyeliner and I, I did like it so you know it's not really a must have for me so I'm probably not gonna purchase it anytime soon um, but I did like it. Next is some MAC brush cleanser. My favourite brush cleanser in the entire world and I love it. So um Oh my god, that was almost like a commercial thing. Okay, but still, I really love this one and um, I'm gonna recommend it to all of you guys once again. I am very strict when it comes to my brushes. I just don't want them to get ruined by any crap um, brush cleansers. So I know that this one works so, so well with my brushes and yeah, it's just my favorite. Cotton pads, oh my god. This is the maxi one from Saturn Balance. I show you this in all of my um, products I've used up videos because I really like these ones. They are so soft and nice to use. It doesn't soak up all of the product. It still kind of like distributes the product um, when you use a face cleanser or whatever. So it doesn't soak up too much product, but it's still very like, I don't know. That sounds weird. Oh my God. Shut up, Camilla. Just move on. I like these. Um, some more nail polish remover. This is from Maybelline. This is the Express Remover, um, where you just dip your finger into um, this hole up here. It's got kind of like a sponge in it. You can't really see it, but it's got a sponge in there. And then you just stick your finger in there and then swirl it around. And then when you take it off, then the nail polish is gone. So it really is an Express Remover, and I really like this one. Some hair care stuff from Dr. Organic, my bioactive skincare Moroccan argan oil restorative treatment conditioner. This is for dry hair, dull hair, damaged hair and flyaway hair. And the amazing thing about this one is also the actual lid and the actual container. It comes in this kind of a container if you can see, so it's not one that you have to unscrew. So that was just so nice because then you didn't get a lot of water in the product and so on. There wasn't a lot of um, product wasted because of all the water. So I liked it. And as you can see, it's a huge big boy. Um, it's got um, 200 milliliters in it. So it was really, really nice. And it took me some months to get through it because I only use like hair masks or hair conditioners like every once or twice a week so um, yeah but I really like this one it's also organic so really good for your hair only great ingredients in it so um, I liked it next product is one that has taken me forever and ever and ever to get through and I'm so happy that this nightmare has finally come to an end oh my god it is the the body shop vanilla bliss body polish never ever am I ever freaking gonna buy this one again. This was such a pain to get through. I literally hated it. It did nothing to my skin at all and it was just such a waste of money. I mean, I the only positive thing about this one is actually the scent, which is actually also a bit, you know, like artificial. It is supposed to smell like vanilla, but it's just a very artificial vanilla, if that makes any sense. So I am just not a fan. It's supposed to be a scrub for your skin and supposed to, you know, like give you 
smooth and nice skin that is like exfoliated and etc and blah 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 and it just didn't do anything it was so watery and liquidy and all of the like I don't know corns or sand or whatever it is that's in there they were just so weird and didn't really do anything so it didn't really scrub or exfoliate or anything and it just went everywhere in my shower it was just such a pain every time I used it my shower was literally like a war zone of this because it was just literally everywhere I really hated it and I'm so sorry to say that because normally I love the body shop and their body scrubs but this one was just such a pain to get through and I'm just so glad that it's over next is my come to find mascara from Max Factor I used these up so quickly and oh my god I love them love 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 and already bought a new one obviously I can't live without this one my fave then I've got a powder this is from Dior it's called Dior Skin Nude Compact in number 20 and I like this one I'm not gonna open it and show you because there's actually some minor bits left but they're all just ruined and they just fall out everywhere and it's just a mess really so I'm not gonna show you too much but I like this um, powder, it's really nice, it gives a very natural finish and doesn't look cakey or anything like that, so I liked it. Oh yeah, and by the way, it's got SPF 10, which is so good, so um, it's also sun protecting. Then we've got a lip balm here, this is from Labello, and this is the Classic Care Lip Balm. And as you can see, it is all out, there is nothing in it. And literally, I've scraped out the rest that's actually in it because I love it so much. It is really inexpensive, so you can just go out and buy a new one for no money at all. But I just really like it. Um, it is one of my favorite lip balms, actually, because it's just it works so, so well. And yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a really nice lip balm. Then some Gush Defining Brow Gel. You know how I feel about this one. My favorite brow gel. At the moment I'm trying out a new brow gel actually from MAC. I've been wanting to try the one for such a long time so I finally caved in and bought it and I actually really like that one but this one is still my fave I think. Once again I'm gonna recommend this one because it just sets your brows so nicely and so naturally without making your brows too crispy and too unnatural looking so I like it and yeah. It's just really good. Last thing from this products I've used up video is also from Dior. It is my Dior uh, Dior Skin Nude Concealer. And it's a skin perfecting hydrating concealer and it's in the color 001 Ivory, which is the lightest one. And I really seriously love this one. And I've gone through so many of these in my past. I enjoy using this one because it is very hydrating as it says, but it also conceals really, really well. Obviously, I've got a new one ready to go. Oh yeah. And that was all from this products I've used up video. I think it's the fourth one that I've done now. And I love these videos. I really I enjoy watching them, so I also enjoy filming them as well. Um, I think it's so nice to actually show you guys the products that I've used up completely and tell you what I really feel about them. So if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel as usual, that would make me so happy. And also follow me on my Instagram if you are interested. I post a lot of photos in there of me and my family and stuff I do and yeah, just things like that. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, have the most amazing day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!